Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about seven Thanksgiving meals or um, ingredients that can cause harm to your dog. I know that the holidays are upon us and I think it will be good to know. The Pets Digest. I started the website. It's a blog that I started because of my dog Chi Chi who's pictured here. He has since passed. He was 17 years old but he suffered with pancreatitis for years it had to be he was he was maybe like four when he got it so he he had it for a chronic pancreatitis for a while so let's just jump right into it one thing that you definitely want to do is to refrain from feeding your dog any table food especially at thanksgiving and make sure that you let your guests know that you do not want them to give your dog any table food if you must give your dog some Type of food, you know, sometimes I will make my, my other dog, Cha-Cha, who was 13. <laughs> I'll make her her special plate, like for Christmas and Thanksgiving. But I will definitely make sure that if I give her a piece of turkey or chicken, that it doesn't have any bones, that it does not have any skin. Because those are the fattiest part of the bird. And you want to make sure that you're not giving them that, that meat, that part of the meat. And... Just like I said previously, you do not want to give them any bones as this can cause some GI upset. It can also cause blockage and possible punctures. Now, there are people that give their dogs uh, bones raw and they do not seem to have any issue with it. I That's a, a preference for me is to not do that with my dogs, but definitely do not give them any cooked bones. If you have an issue with... Um, your dog being around the table and begging and things like that, and you're worried that someone may, may give your dog something, keep them preoccupied during your mealtime. Um, give them a chew toy. Give them some of the treats or something like that to interact with. Give them a peanut butter filled Kong or something so that they, you know, they have their own thing to do. They're eating something while everyone else is eating. If you have a cat, give them some catnip, like a cat catnip filled toy that you purchased just for them just for that day to keep them busy. Make sure that when you dispose of everything, dispose of everything properly, make sure it's sealed. You want to dispose especially of turkey brine and liquids and things like that that can drip out of bags and your, your dog or cat can lick them. Um, you want to make sure that that's disposed of properly because that can result in and salt toxicosis and things like that because it has, especially turkey brine, it has a lot of salt in it. So you want to make sure that you don't expose your dog to that. When you're cooking, make sure that you catch anything that falls on the floor, especially anything raw, especially if you're not feeding your dog raw, um, just in general, because that can really, really upset their stomach. So anything that may contain eggs, Make sure you keep an eye on the floor because as we're cooking, we may drop things and it can cause, you know, some emergencies. And again, just make sure everyone knows you can put up a sign, even if you want to, if you're having a lot of people over to make sure that they do not feed the dog. And if you want to, I don't personally like to do this. You can put your dogs in a different separate room from everyone else while you guys are eating dinner. Um, I don't like to do that because it's my dog's house just as much as my house, so they get to roam free. But if you are comfortable doing that, you may want to do that or put them behind a baby gate where they can still see everyone, but they cannot get any food or anything like that. I hope that this helped. It was very, very quick, and that's what I like these videos to be, just really quick, short, um, informational videos. If you want more information, I will leave a link to my blog below that specifically goes over what I spoke about in this video and it gives a little bit more information. I would also love it if you would um, connect with me through my newsletter so you can sign up for that on my blog. And if you want to like this video, which you know it doesn't cost you anything, so please do. And if you want to hear more, just subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you next week.